it's still interesting to take a look at, so let's have a look at what it does. So here we are in our iOS 7 Beta 2 for iPad software. We're going to check out settings. And from here, uh, we're already in general, so we don't have to go much farther than that. But we're going to go into accessibility. So once we get in there, there's a lot of options that are available to us. We can shut off parallax, uh, things like that. There's also a physical and motor option, which is down here. So you can see the very first one is switch control. So we're going to check this out. Now, switch control lets you use your iPad by, it will actually cycle through and highlight items on the screen, and you can activate them through an adaptive accessory, uh, or you can actually now do it through head movements. So if we go to switches, you can see we can select an item. So if we want to, uh, you know, activate a switch on your input device now or enable built-in switch. So here's different control, switch control by tilting your head to the left or the right. So we're going to pick right head movement. And we can actually add other switches, like select item, scanner menu, restart the scanning, skip to next item, step to previous item, and stop scanning. Uh, you can also do system switches, so we can also do that. Uh, if we wanted to, say, activate Siri, uh, use the home button, things like that, we would be able to choose those actions. So if we wanted to do that, we could do uh, left head movement for that. So you can see select item is right head movement, and the home button is left head movement switch. And if you had any other accessories for your iPad that were accessibility based, you'd be able to use them here and add switches uh, accordingly. So we're going to use those. So we have select item as right head movement switch and home button as left head movement switch. So once we do that, we can switch on switch control. And usually it will give you a pop-up menu the very first time you activate it. But we've already done that. So now you can see that it will start toggling through. And if we wanted to choose something, we would be able to do uh, a turn of our head which if we want to go home, we would go to the left. And then if we wanted to choose a group of apps, we would go to the right. So let's say we wanted to go into our clock. So now we've gone into the clock setting and we can check out all of our different times. And so you can see here all your different clocks. And if we want to go back to the home screen, of course, we would just go left and now it's taken us back to the home screen. But it's really basic, super simple, um, but also a nice feature to see on iOS 7. Any time we have expanded accessibility options, it's always great for people who need it. I don't see this being used for anybody who in everyday life does not need the accessibility options. Uh, but like I said, it always is nice to see those extra expanded options, especially when people really want or need them. And that is uh, switch control for iOS 7 beta 2 on the iPad.